And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade or slash exchange your current CPU air coolers to a liquid cool system. So the overall step for installing a liquid cool system on this PC is pretty easy and you can pretty much do the same thing on any other PC as well. Before we begin, let's see what things that we need for doing such job. First, of course, we need a liquid cool system. The liquid cooler that I choose for my system is the Cooler Master Master Liquid 120. This is the, what I think the most valuable band to buck liquid cool system that you can find on the market. In Canada, on Amazon, you can find it for $69. In the States, you're gonna find it for $49. If you're also interested in the same thing, I'll put those product link in the description below so you can go check it out. And next, we're going to need some screwdrivers which is including a flip hat, a flat hat, and a torx hat. And also the next thing I think is necessary for you to prepare, which is the three number six screw nuts. You can find those nuts at the Home Depot store and purchase them less than 50 cents. And one more thing, it's good for you to wear a pair of gloves just to prevent those electric shocks that might gonna damage the electronic components inside the PC. All right, so everything's ready, let's begin. So first we need to take out the screw that's holding up the back handle and then we pull the handle and release the side panel. So if you want to remove the panel on the other side, there is an LED cable and connector in there so make sure you disconnect the connector before you completely remove the panel and also I think it's good for you to remove the top cover as well there's a two screw on each side just remove the screws then you can pop off the top cover of this PC after that we're gonna pull up the power supply unit to open up the whole case as you see the current CPU cooler I have on this system right now is a stock air cooler with upgraded 80 millimeters fans on top of it well since we're going to replace the whole air cooler fans to a liquid cool system we need to take that original air cooler out of the motherboard by doing that we just need to unscrew the screws that are holding up the fans and also the radiator and after we remove the air cooler's radiator now what we need to do is we need to take out the CPU and make sure to clean up the thermal paste compound that previously apply on the CPU and also because we need to install a new bracket from the back side of the motherboard so we need to take the whole motherboard off that case by doing that we need to unscrew a screws that are holding up the motherboard to that case so by the point here we're basically taking the everything out of that case and reinstall everything back to that case it's basically rebuilding a whole PC system and if you are really new to doing such things really suggest you to take a photo before you disconnecting all the cables or disassemble any components from those motherboards just in case we need to put everything back onto that motherboard so you have a photo then you know which cables goes to where the next thing what we need to do is we need to take out original brackets on the back side of the motherboard because the back plate that cooler master including the with the kit has different hole to the current motherboard that's the reason why I said that we need a three number six screw nuts so we can install the CPU latch back onto the motherboard without any problem. After we're doing that, now we're gonna follow the instructions provided by the Cooler Master and apply the bracket from the backside of the motherboard. Next, we need to install the motherboard back in the case so we can start to install the liquid cool system in that case. Same thing, we put eight screwdrivers back on and don't over tighten any screws. Install the radiator with the fan into the original top fan position. And next thing we want to do is we want to put the CPU back into socket. And then we're gonna apply the thermal paste compound on the CPU. And next, we just need to put the pump onto the CPU. Don't forget to peel off the stickers on the bottom side of the pump. Gently give it a little bit pressure and then we're gonna use the provided screw nuts to tighten up the pump in position. But there's one thing you need to know is the original 120 millimeter fan that come with does not work on this PC. Like in the previous video that I mentioned before, I'm still going to be using the same top fan that I used before. So next, we need to connect the power cable to the motherboard. We're gonna connect the top fan to the top fan socket, connect the power cable from the pump to the pump fan. And as of now, we have complete installation of this liquid cool system. And the next way we need to do is we're gonna connect and pull back all the cables onto that motherboard and put all the components back to where it is. And after that, we just want to power up the PC. If everything works out good, means you're good. <laughs> so from experience of upgrading the liquid cool system, which is has lower noise level than air fans. And also because that inside that case really narrow and tight spacing there. So it's not really good for air coolers that blows up the air inside the case. We basically just trapping out the heat inside the case. Like I mentioned before, the Alienware R is designed based on using a water cool system because they have cheaper version. They are just using cheaper parts, which is going to be air cooler. So just give you guys a comparison from my test by using the liquid cool system here, the CPU temperature 
actually drop average about 10 degrees Celsius and sometimes it can be like 15 degrees in extreme conditions playing games and such things and doing like heavy tasking job actually can goes up to about 20 degrees Celsius difference compared to the original air coolers inside a PC so that's a huge huge difference a huge upgrade from that air cooler for 40 to 50 dollars spends on upgrade like this I think it's a really good options for you to consider all right I hope you guys like this video some type of you like it if you don't like it the button's up there subscribe if you haven't done so I'll see you guys next one cheers guys